champion in the world. He said he has done everything to prepare himself. His mind is ready. His body is ready. His team is ready. It is not just you out there. Your team has to be locked in sync with the athlete. He believes that they are all on the same page to become the champ. And he does believe he has occupied some headspace in the champion. I'm not so sure that's the reality, but we're going to find out here in another moment. All right, the Sugar Show live and in color. Sean O'Malley back on the proven ground here tonight. And what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you got to stand out and take note when you fight someone like that so close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra. Augusto Tanquino Mendez, UFC veteran there, firmly in his corner. But you're right. We haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <clears throat> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mario Bautista. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, Sugar, Sean O'Malley! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Well, Sean O'Malley has been a notorious fast starter in the UFC thus far. It is something his corner has prioritized once again here tonight. Let's see if O'Malley can lead the dance and dictate the pace here. One, two punch by O'Malley. Oh, they're trying to huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Sean O'Malley. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Rips the body there for good measure. Pressure being applied here. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. O'Malley gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Front kick by Sean O'Malley. 
They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Oh, nice counter jab there. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Beautiful kick. He gets in the second power time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Punch no good. Big knee. Able to block that one. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by O'Malley. Let's go, nice straight right lance. Well, he is a willing grappler, but no surprise, Sugar Sean O'Malley choosing to strike here tonight. And it is truly a joy to watch this man find that zone. Well, he's willing, John, but he doesn't want to be doing it if he doesn't have to be doing it. He's one of those guys that possesses so much skill. He's so well-rounded, but that striking, his ability to cut angles and land on you before you can get to him, so high level. Sean O'Malley's a beast. Eye appears to be closing up by the second. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. It's a beautiful fast jab with beating. Keep working just like that. Just out of range with that right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh, misses with the jab. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the guard. Back and forth we go. Final seconds of the round. Huge block there. Looking to land the right hook now. Round two is next. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush, go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Oh, he connects there. Jab there by O'Malley. Oh, huge right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, counters with a nicely timed uppercut. Punch over the top. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. 
it's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to... Oh! And that'll do it! Shot O'Malley with a huge knockout tonight! Oh, oh, my goodness. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Sugar Shaw. Well, Sugar Sean O'Malley had some doubters coming in here tonight, but he mutes those naysayers yet again. We congratulate O'Malley on another monumental UFC win, and the nature of this result figures to provide the matchmakers a lot of different options moving forward as to who might be next for Sean O'Malley.